Hi, I'm Kev from sonsandcane.com. With me as usual is Chris. This week we're going to be looking at a three pad drill, looking at angles and distance. We'll look at this on two canes, able bodied and in the wheelchair. We've got a special announcement which uh, Chris is going to give you. We're now on Cane Masters International, the virtual dojo. So we will be live streaming here in the UK. So if there's anything you want to see, drop us a line and we'll get it done. Don't forget to subscribe for videos each week and push the notification bell, which will give you an email when we post new content. New content is posted on the Wednesday and the Saturday. This drill, we're going to have Kev using two canes to start with, and we are going to vary the distance of the pads and the angle of the pads and striking areas. And what this will entail is you'll have to think about which pads you're going to attack first, depending on distance, how you're going to strike it, because again, that will depend on who's going to be at you near, near you first. So this will be a useful drill for multiple attackers or a sudden change in angle of attack or distance of attack. As you can see, we've got three proposed attackers, three differences of distance, and we've got three angles of attack that we can use. So this is a static drill to start with. With these drills, don't forget, you need to put a bit of force into it. If we just lightly tap the pads, you'll gain a muscle memory of this and it won't do you any good. It's good to practice it slow, get the rhythm, get the technique, and then build up, get the power, but make sure your pad holders are comfortable with these heavy strikes. What we're going to do now is have the pad holders walk in to Kev. So he's got to think who's going to come in first, the angle of attack, do the, if they get too close, is he going to do the same attack or change it slightly? We're going to run this at half speed at the moment. When we've got full protective equipment, we will be doing it at a higher rate. Okay, we're going to do that again, a little bit quicker. So this time they're coming in, it's going to be a little bit more aggressive on the approach. You can see from that one, everything changed slightly. So we didn't have time to do the crook change, but there was a nice short strike in there. You can continue the flow with other strikes. For the, the continuation of this now, we're actually going to crowd him, because let's be honest, people aren't going to attack you from here. They're going to get in close. So the pad holders are going to come in and crowd Kev, and then you can see that the, the um, strikes are going to change again, but it's the same principle behind the drill. As you can see, you've got less movement there, especially if you're on two canes. Your mobility is greatly reduced. Can't get the big swings in, but because we're using the cane, we're still getting power against the pads, we're still getting effective techniques in, and you're in a comfortable position to defend yourself. So this time we're doing it from the chair. We're going to do this as a static drill to start with. We will do some variations on this later. We're using a full length cane for this one, but it works equally well with the mini cane. Practice with both. As you can see, we pulled the last strike because that would have cleared through and we would have struck our poor hapless pad holder here. So one of the things you've got to do is be very trusting of the person with the cane and be very, very aware of the person holding the pad. As you develop and your accuracy increases and your control increases, you'll find you'll get better drills. But always practice slow, practice smooth, then get the technique correct, then build up the speed, the power and the focus will come with that. Don't try and rush full power straight away. Same drill as before, we're going to crowd the 
person with the cane in the chair, but you'll see it will change slightly because of the distance change. If you can get a full swing on a strike, excellent, but the short strikes are just as effective. Don't underestimate them. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video and hope you can take something away from it. As usual, use the technique. If it doesn't suit your system, doesn't suit your disability, adapt it, play with it, have some fun. Drop us a line down below, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget, sharing is caring. As always, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, ring the bell, free the fit.